Jimmy Brum versus Madman Hans Hansen. Oh, look at this. Sweet Stevie Aaron and the twisted genius Dean Eas at ringside calling the action here at 1PW's first anniversary. Yeah. And this, this man is probably the strangest man. He wants the bell rung. Okay. He's obsessed with the bell. He <laughs> Look at and this. He's now Look. doing the river dance or something. Yeah, and he's only got one boot and he's had to draw the other one on. Just bizarre. <laughs> he's, he's scared. I'll do what the hell he says. He, oh, yeah. He, he scares me. Whatever, you know. <laughs> Madman, uh, hand, well. Just, just look at him. He's still got the same. He's still got the same markings he had on this afternoon, Dean. Well, that's because it's permanent marker pen. I think that probably takes a few weeks to come off. And the guy's drawn on his own head. And he's once a, a, we saw this this afternoon. He sees, he sees imaginary go. opponents. Right. And he's and he's he's losing at the moment. And whomever it is. This is bizarre. We got a hammerlock from the Invisible Man and right Jamie now. Jamie Brum's just watching this and taking a break. Oh, face first on the mat. And Jamie Brum takes advantage of the situation. But I didn't see him make a tag to the Invisible Man, Dean. It's a three-way dance, obviously. Oh, well, it must be. Or something. I, I have no idea what it is. It's a bonus match here tonight. It's a cost-cutting measure by uh, 1PW. The Invisible Man is very cheap, you know? Right, OK. Just have to give him a sandwich and he's happy. Okay, right now. <laughs> Here we go, face first into the top turnbuckle. Jimmy Broman. I, I was going to say, I don't think that's going to have much effect as Manson continues to uh, smack his own head into the turnbuckles and level with the clothesline. All right, Jimmy Broom. This is just one of the strangest men I've. I mean. Who, oh, Jimmy Broom? No, no, Jim no, Manson. Oh, right, okay. Wrestling is full of strange characters, but this guy takes the biscuit. And these fans really getting on the case of Jimmy Brum. Oh, beautiful drop Great kick. Drop kick, yes. Did you, uh, did you see Madman Manson's, um, well, I, I, I don't really want to call it a merchandise stand, but did you see he, uh, he was selling his photos just sat on the floor with the photos. I, 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 I missed him. that. I missed that. <laughs> he obviously hasn't had a shower since Fight Club. And uh, no, that's pretty clear to see. Okay, Irish whip into the corner. In goes Manson, charges with a clothesline. Did you see him just staring at referee Tony Barrett there? Yeah, that. If I was Tony Barrett, I'd perhaps referee this match on the outside. This guy can flip at any time. What, what's he going for now? Suplex, vertical style. And all the way over goes Jamie Brum. <laughs> I mean, even if you'd seen a photograph of Madman Manson, you could probably guess that there's something not quite right. Oh, I've, I've never seen the guy before. I'd heard about him. I've seen him before. He scares me. You know, I, I guess something was up. But, you know, he, he wasn't the full shilling, as it were, but well, nothing like this. What was, the, what was the giveaway? The straight jacket, maybe? I or, think so, yeah. Yeah. The pen markings, the... The boot is drawn on his on his left foot. That is Two. Is he going? That's it. That's it. So here we are. One year anniversary. One P W. You've got stars from all over the world on the card, but what you don't have is the best tag team in professional wrestling today, Team Supreme. And tonight. Team Supreme are going to make an impact. We're going to put ourselves on that card and we're going to make that impact right now. <laughs> Come on. Stop it! 
of one of your problems. What was all that? We, Team Supreme, have just taken out Samoa Joe. We're going to be your dream tag partners tonight. It's going to be three on one. Us three versus that little piece of crap, Spud. <laughs> Not that I don't appreciate what you guys just did, because believe me, I do. But tonight is a dream tag team partner match. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me. You don't know how hard I've worked to get in touch with this guy. What? Look, we're going to be your dream partners. You don't tell us so that we just going to took Joe out. We're going to be the dream partners. And that's that. Come on, Dave. This is the most amazing atmosphere I think I've ever witnessed in uh, 13 years of wrestling. You this know is what? amazing. I plan to say exactly the same thing, Dini. I say I've never felt anything quite like this in my life. All right. Here we go, the first match. Where did El Generico come from? I didn't know he was going to be here tonight. No, they, we've got plenty of surprises tonight, I understand. The first wow. of many, then. The first of many, so I'm told. Who knows what's going to happen? This crowd here in Doncaster, at the Doncaster Dome, I mean, they've been hot before. One PW, what it's done for wrestling, what it's done for British wrestling. Where would we, I, I can't believe, you know, a year ago, just shortly over a year ago, it didn't even exist. But here we are right now. Absolutely incredible crowd. A new record here at it, the Doncaster Dome. There is, there's, I mean, you know, we talk about sellouts, but I literally, literally can't see a single empty seat in this building. This is amazing. Apparently we're going to have the official attendance record later on. But right now we've got El Generico against El Liguero. Uh, a dream match, I guess. Yeah, Lucha dream match. The uh, the uh, native of Los Santos, Mexico, the UK luchador El Liguero against the generic luchador El Generico. And look at this, both men equally matched in many, many ways. The styles of Lucha Libre. And I'm not talking about the movie. Well, wait a minute. And I get a feeling that Generico's going to fly. Oh! You never quite know what oh. El Generico is going to do, Dean. Very smooth. First time these two have met, I believe. This is amazing. How popular is this guy? What? This is just incredible. Oh, wait a minute. Over the top goes El Liguero now. Oh, he's caught by El Generico, but nice reversal from El Liguero. Lucha Libra action. You've got to keep your eyes on El Liguero. Flying head scissors. Ducks the elbow now off the ropes. Here we go. Flying head scissors coming up. We've seen this one before. Oh, ho. how many revolutions. Beautiful drop kick from El Liguero. The UK Luchador into the cover. Two. Just a two count that time. Generico with the, uh, the size advantage, but... It looks like Liguero with the speed. Perhaps. And perhaps that will be the undoing of El Generico. Not the greatest of weeks uh, for Lucha Libra, of course. The sad news um, relating to Triple A. Antonio Pena passing away, of course, yeah. Right. But right now, we've got Lucha Libra action here at the Doncaster Dome. Off the ropes. Oh. oh. Got him right in the face that time. Into the cover. Just a two count. Let's see what beautiful standing moonsault there by El Liguero. Just a two count though. This is incredible. This is just the first match. What's going to happen when the ropes come down and the barbed wire goes up? I should it to think. It doesn't bear thinking about. It really doesn't see me. I mean, I've dreamt about this night, but we're actually here now, Dean. It will shortly become a reality, but back in the ring, Liguero taking over on El Generico. And here we go, reversal from El Generico. Over the top goes El Liguero, using the ropes, and look at that. Beautiful leg lariat, got him right in the throat. You Just could hear the smack. You could hear the smack of his heel connected. He really got him that time in the throat, and you see El Liguero trying to get his breath back, it looks like. El Generico 
These fans are amazing. I don't want to take anything away from this match, but... Oh. Reverse knife edge by El Generico. El Generico has quite the reputation on the independent scene in the States. El Ligero has a great reputation over here in the UK. Well, I mean, El Ligero has wrestled in the US for NWA Wildside. Great point. El Generico has made several trips to the UK with IPW UK down in Orpington in the south, so... A lot of people familiarise him with uh, PWG, though. Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Indeed, yeah. He's a cover to... Just a two count. This is the thing, 21st century wrestling, the world really opens up, and you know, people in the days of, of territories and people staying in the same place have gone. Right. The world is one global village, Stevie, and Def everyone's a part of it. Absolutely. I mean, I can think of uh, watching Lucha Libre at one point, and none of my other friends who were wrestling France knew what the hell I was talking about. Look at that! Beautiful moonsault there, the split-legged moonsault, just a two count. That's because imaginary friends don't talk back, Steve. I know you have no <laughs> friends in your childhood. It was a lonely life for you. Uh, <laughs> Up in the north. <laughs> the few sheep you know, for company, I know. Uh, they're not, not quite what you, what you think, Dean. I mean, you, you should go to Middlesbrough sometime. I keep telling you this. Into the corner, El Liguero moved out of the way. And now El Generico, oh! Very fast, how about that? And now using the ropes again, beautiful springboard, uh, great, drop kick rather. Great elevation, he really got a little hand time and Ligero's out on the floor and, and now, that's not the place you want to be when El Generico's your opponent. I think El Generico's going to fly. El Generico off the ropes, we're going to see a suicide dive! Oh! I don't think he landed too well there. Uh, a Fosbury flop style uh, plancha, but from well, well, from from our vantage point, he didn't look like he was crashing down too comfortably, Stevie. No, that didn't look comfortable at all. But he's back up on his feet. But holding his neck, he is in pain, and that well, you know, it's it's one of the basic uh, things in wrestling. But that is why it's called high risk move. Right. You know, it's, it's it's stating the obvious, you might say, but you know, there's a reason for it being called high risk offense and the style of wrestling that these two guys employ is risky and it can be career ending or career shortening. You know? Definitely, and, and, and we really don't know uh, the, the, you know, the facial features, obviously, of El Generico covered up by the mask. Nice splash off the top, just a two count. Ooh, nearly. We nearly. don't know how much pain he's, he's really in there, Dean. Obviously, it's hard to read with the mask. And the same can be said for El Liguero. Even more with El Ligero because his, his eyes are covered over with that that mesh. You really can't read anything into the man. Right. Here we go. El Generico charges. Ligero catches the foot and just shrugs him off that time. Oh, I think that went low. I think the referee should be. Oh, wait a second. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, the oh, code I red. That was it. I thought that was it, Stevie Aaron. He almost won it with a code red. And these fans, this is amazing. I was going to say at the start of the match, they were split right down the middle. But now, I'd say it's going to be 95% of these fans clearly behind El Ligero. Oh, that's a bad miss. Oh, that, that might cost him. That might be his undoing right now as El Generico buys some time. And now here he charges again. And that time, he got the foot right in the face. Oh, nice roll up. He's got him pinned. Two. Just a I two thought count. he was going for the brain buster. I'm sure Ligero did as well. You, you brace your body for one move and you get something totally different. Well, he, he may have uh, changed his mind mid move. And I think looking at what we can make out of the face of El Generico, he thought that might be it. Oh, this is intense right here. The first match of 1PW, first anniversary, and we thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support of 1PW. And now, El Ligero's on top. What, what's he got in mind here? Maybe a superplex? Maybe a superplex. El Ligero's fighting it. El Ligero's going to fight it. Forearms to the face now, and to the back. Where's Ligero going, Dean? It looks what nasty. the hell is he no. doing? Reverse runner off the top! Stevie, he landed on his head. He landed square on his head. But look at this, he's back on his feet. And there it is! The C4L, that's, that's got to be out. The One, C4L, two, two, three, it's over! 
Wow! Stevie, 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 what a show so far. We have got a set out here, 1785. We've got 1,784 great fans and one titty the Norwich City shirt. There's your manager going on. Look, there's a woman with pink hair. Pink hair. Hey! Did, did your mum use a candy floss make because of sex to or something? Team, we're, we're having a great time out here tonight, and all the fans are. And what a year this has been since last October, since a cruel twist of fate here in Doncaster Dome. 1PW has done a lot for Doncaster, 1PW has done a lot for British wrestling. In all seriousness, 1PW has done a lot for the entire world um, on the wrestling scene. And it really is because of each and every one of you and the fans at home watching as well, we thank you too. But right now, Dean, I've got a special treat for you. I've got a special treat for everybody here tonight. We're going to take a look. We're going to take a look at a music video right now. We're going to take you to some of the memories provided by 1PW. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been 1PW's first year.
Maybe. Got to be a pillow, sure. Got to be. I thought Kingdom James was in Canada. I thought he couldn't make it. I thought he was dead. What's going on? You thought he was dead? No, he's, he's very much alive, Dean Ass. What? What's this? It is a it pillow. It is a pillow. Well, there's the most predictable Christmas present this year. Happy birthday, Kingdom. Oh, come on. So, it's a pillow with my face on it. Now, coming from a jerk off like you, that's practically fighting words. Did you want to fight me, little boy? Did, did you want to have a fight? I wasn't planning on it. And to be fair, and to be brutally honest, I don't really think it would be a fair fight. Someone the caliber of yours truly facing a fat, old, crippled white we might have another bonus match here. Well, let's face it, Kingdom didn't look to be a stranger to Cates, oh. did he? Well, that might be true, but it's not the point. You don't touch a man's Scotsman's kilt, do you? No. Did you say skirt? Kilt. Kilt. You sure? Okay. Oh, oh. wait a second. Andy Cool fans asking for the... Asking for the bell. I guess we've got another bonus match on our hands. Well, why not? Fans clearly behind Kingdom. Jay Phoenix. Here we go. A big close line sends down the so called flawless one. Hasn't even had a chance to take that kilt off yet, has he? No. I don't think he's had a chance to recover from Steve Carino this afternoon. Oh, look at this. And Kingdom just windmilling on him. He'd be clubbering. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A big back boy oh. from, from Kingdom James, who has returned, apparently, to 1PW. Well, he didn't exactly come dressed to wrestle, did he? No, I mean, it's, I invited him to come out here and join his own commentary, but... Yeah, thanks for telling me about that. Well, don't be surprised. Well, here we go, oh, big powerbomb reversal from Jay Phoenix. Kingdom might not get out here, join us. Oh. That's it. From behind, Kingdom James with the Irish women in the corner. Oh. Oh. And a big splash from the big man of 1PW. He's got the pillow, D Dean, he's got the pillow. The most lethal weapon in one PW. Oh, he got him right in the smacker. <laughs> wow, look at that. Check it out. Kingdom James Pillow. Oh, wait a second. No. No, you got, you got to no be. No way. You no got to be kidding. He's gone up top. Kingdom James. Kingdom. No. There's your winner. Oh, Jeff Phoenix kicked out. Come on. What's he asking for? He's got the cr oh, he's got the kick. He's got the cream and he's got the kick. Oh. Now, do you think he's going to offer him a slice? Oh, there's only one thing that happens to uh, a kick in wrestling. Yeah. yeah. I know where you're going. Oh, wait. 
It looks like he's gonna. No. no yeah. he's, gonna... he's got him set up and. First in the kick. in the face. Well, there's a 1PW moment for the first year. Oh, happy birthday, 1PW. And now, well, I'll tell you something. We're probably going to have the first barbed wire match where you got cake in the ring. Kingdom's got the mic again. Phoenix just threatened Kingdom there, I think. He said, you'll get here, you'll get yours or something. Well, have we seen the end of this? I don't know. Can we can we recover the kick in the ring? It's not completely destroyed. It's still good. It's still good. I'm diabetic. I couldn't care less about the cake. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think. I think Jay needs a shower now. Well, Kingdom James. Wow, what a moment we've just witnessed. <laughs> we're jealous, and they told him that his shows weren't worth shit. And that you people were here too long, and we gave the people too much. As frustrating as it was, he would wake me up in the morning to tell me, what should I do, what should I do? And I said, just entertain the fans, and that gets him going. That the Gauntlets put in their pocket, 10,000 pounds, or whether they lost 10,000 pounds. Stephen and his family have a smile on their face when each and every one of you tram and cheer and boo and yell one PW.
This is the one time I wish everybody in the locker room would come out. If you hate us, just sit there. But look, I look around this ring. Chris Hamrick, Kingdom James. This little tough bastard that tries his hardest to get over you guys' fun. The craziest mother ever in the world, Al Herman. Martin Stone, Elegant, Doug Stein, Jerry Fleisch, Darren Burge, Paul Cabana, Johnny Storm.
the one BW World Tag Team Championship. Stevie Aaron calling the action with Dean Eas and Kingdom James. You all right? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's good. we got the tag team gauntlet right now. And this is very interesting. Five teams included in the gauntlet here, Dean Eas. And the winners will be the new number one contenders to the uh, Tag Team Championship here in 1PW. And we've this. got that, uh, that three-way ladder match coming up later tonight right. to decide who the champions will be. It's great to have you back, Kingdom, by the uh, way. It's good to be back. A, a younger man would have hit a better leg drop, though. <laughs> you might want to see about getting Human Tornado or D'Lo Brown or something. <laughs> And, you know, thank you for calling me a, uh, well, you know, handsome young man. I always need Canadians that long. Well, sarcasm will get you everywhere, Ice. You hang around me long enough, you'll find out. <laughs> uh, well, we'll find out as the night progresses, I guess. We've got, we've got two teams here uh, from the FWA Academy. Kicking things off. Yeah, we've got the uh, the founder of the Academy, Mark Sloan, and uh, his new tag partner, Holly Burns, and then... These two young men, then Dan Head in the ring, and Matt Tolchis, they've been around about four or five years apiece, graduates of that academy. They're now wrestling all over the country. Right. And uh, making a tremendous name for themselves on the UK scene. Well, it really says something about 1PW as well, taking uh, taking these top flight competitors from different promotions like FWA Academy and 3CW and various other promotions around the, uh, the United Kingdom bringing them here to showcase them for the 1PW faithful. Indeed, it also shows how everyone in the UK wants to be part of 1PW. Oh, we've got a cover, just a two count there. Just a two count, and you really don't want to burn yourself out in the first match. You know, we've got, we've got five teams in this thing. He's a cover. Well, yeah, if you draw one or two, you play like the same thing, you to pace yourself, because you're going to have three matches all your way. So... We've got Ollie Burns in there for Max Voltage. Max Voltage can fly. Double stomp to the shoulder blades. Look at this, using the rope straight out. Nice recovery. Thank <laughs> you. 
As Roughneck brings a new partner to ringside, where is this? Where is he? Making his way behind us now. Why isn't he in the corner helping his man? Well, you're right. I mean, he got into some kind of altercation here on the outside with the FWA Academy champion. And Joey Hayes on top right now. Takes out both men with a super drop kick. That's more like it. Well, I mean, to bear in mind is that. Definitely, and it means the damnation have got the look of the draw. Makeshift team, but a very, uh, a very serious beating they're putting on their man. The Chavs might be in serious trouble. They don't know. They don't know what this team has done. They don't know right. how how well they know each other. They're for, for rough neck and sabotage, not rough neck and Hayes. Well, that's my point. It's an X factor now. There's an unknown in this match now, and Hayes is that unknown. Absolutely, Kingdom. And not just that, these, these are the fresh, oh! 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 This is the fresh team, and that's going to do it, look at that. And these fans behind this, this new incarnation of painting, Joey Hayes and Roughneck. And the chance to kill the chance comes up. Well, I can't argue with that one. It's because they're southerners, isn't it? It might be. That's why they don't like me, I... Uh-oh. You know what this is? You know what this is? They're selling them up for the FUBAR. The FUBAR? And I can't tell you what it stands for, either. Oh, there's only one way oh, this can go now. Oh! Oh! DDT, the FUBAR. We could go to a hundred. Oh, come on. Get him out of here. Well, Dan James knew that was it. Third man. And now Roughneck. All over Dan James. Dan James is 
down on the outside. Meanwhile, in the ring, Joey Hayes good off that time. Kick to the goal. What's he? Oh, what's he doing? Oh, under the knees, innovation from Joey Hayes. Double pin. Or on Joey Hayes, rather. It's over. That's it. That's it. Another win. The champs. The champs. Roughneck completely obsessed with the action on the outside after being pulled off of a pin. Leaves his partner hanging. Very successful they were at Fight Club 3 as well. Oh, did you hear that chop? Future first night edge chop from Dragon Aizu. And once again, action starts fast and furious. The Chavs thought they could get one over on Damnation. Dragon and Magic taking it to him already. I understand last time you were involved with One PW Kingdom, Dragon Eyes was known as I-17, is that correct? Uh, yeah, he was. I, I'm trying to remember whether he uh, assumed his new persona before I left or not. I think he was but morphing I, into his new persona. I, I am aware, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's behind it. What changed inside his head? But I'm guessing Gabriel Gray might have something to do with it. Exactly right. Mastermind of damnation. And let's face it, Kingdom. You don't really want to examine the head of uh, Dragon Ice in too closely, or for that matter, anyone in damnation. Okay, right now in the ring, Dragon Ice with the Irish whip into the corner. Nice elbow, and he follows it up with a snapmare over the top. And in it, here comes Magic. Magic, the newest member of Dam's Nation, at least here in 1PW. Well, the most experienced man in the ring. Oh, backcracker. Without question. But he can fragonize him with a cover. The referee telling him to get out of the ring, and rightly so, because Magic is the legal man. Just a two count there, Dean. Magic in his 10th year as a pro in this country and a former NWA United Kingdom junior heavyweight champion a man with a great pedigree in this country and he tags in once again the current 3CW heavyweight champion Dragon Aizu and there's an Irish whip off the ropes and a nice double clothesline from Dam's Nation and I don't think the chance is going to find here tonight It's so strange. The only time Damned Nation ever get cheered is when they're against the Chavs. It happened, it happened to us in the dark match at Invincible, yeah. Well, I can't believe you guys are talking through this, ow, this laying on of hands. <laughs> Chucked him in the face, Kingdom. Yeah, we were kind of waiting for the, the face chop there, Kingdom. Oh, beautiful leg, Larry, at that time. And now you hear magic. Is that limit shake it off? The fans behind damnation. Gabriel Gray, the pale rider on the outside. And what I find strange is that Gabriel Gray and Dan James seem to have invaded one another's territory here. You'd, you'd think they'd be in the other corner. Right. Uh, nevertheless, we've got magic in the ring. And the baseball caps up again. When you know Haskins is in trouble when the baseball cap comes off. Yes. Right on the neck and the shoulder blades. With the chops. Good off Magic. Magic's in trouble right now. I don't know what Magic's doing with his hair. I think that was. That was good. Oh, oh, oh. oh my! Spinning it upside down and inside out and everywhere in between. Spinning like a Ferris wheel. 
Now that wasn't a close line. That was a lariat right there. And Dragon Icy drops Haskins square on his head. To the outside now. Damnation. Damn to hell. What's this? Oh! Davies straight down. And that's it. We've got ourselves new number one contenders and they are damned nation. Well, I think we're going to have a few words from Gabriel Gray. This mutant scares me. You're right, King Demi, he's a mutant. He's a, he's a freaky looking fella. Eh? Last time, we killed some chaps. And I stood here and told you that that nation would be coming. Please. Now, Magic Dragon I Sue, the damn nation are the number one contender. In a little while, there'll be a lot of match. Now whether Team Shad, Southern Comfort, or Johnny and Johnny, climb that ladder and reach for these. It doesn't really matter, because for all three of you teams, it's one hell of a long fall. And when you hit the ground, we will be waiting. You see the tag belts high in the air, Gabriel Gray saying, damned nation will be ready. <laughs> Okay, see you later, bye bye. Are we on? Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, what's happened is we've, we've chased an ambulance uh, down here to the accident emergency. Um, it looks as though Dustin Rhodes and the fallen angel Christopher Daniels um, have both been admitted into the accident emergency with what, with what looks at the moment like food poisoning. Um, it's fair to say that right now, um, the match is off, um, and I'll, uh, I'll obviously keep you posted with any further developments. Um, back to you guys. Man showed up. Now if Dustin Rhodes isn't here... Are you thinking what I'm thinking here? Yeah, I'm thinking it, but I don't want to get sued, so I ain't saying it. Okay. Well, 1PW does it again, Dean. I was just saying the Kingdom, I think we're in some kind of bizarro world. I'm sat next to Anthony Kingdom James, commentating on Gold Dustin versus Curry Man. Has the world gone mad? <laughs> it may have. Sweet Stevie Aaron, joined by Dean Eas and Kingdom James. Well... Unfortunately, Chris Daniels and Dustin Rhodes had to go to the hospital. You know, I've, I've got two big dream matches I've always wanted to see. You know, one of them was Dustin Rhodes versus Chris Daniels. Now, that's gonna, not going to happen. But luckily, the, the, the second biggest match I've wanted to see has been Goldust versus Curry Man. And here it is. It's happening right now. Only in one BW would you see a match <laughs> like this. Let's face it. I think Dustin has forgot who he is. Gold Dustin, he apparently is now. From the company that brought you Jimmy Superfly Snooker doing the Chab Shuffle comes this. Oh, let's not forget Kikatara and Blue Mean. I think Kingdom James is uh, jaws on the floor right now. <laughs> they can't believe it. Pop it lock! Pop it lock to escape! <laughs> Incredible. 
pop it and lock it. Two of the biggest characters in wrestling history against each other. Of course, Goldust was a huge star uh, back in the WWF. Oh, yeah, former Intercontinental Right. <laughs> This is just so surreal. Curry Man, a huge star in New Japan Pro Wrestling. This is awesome. And I gotta agree with the fans. And you hear the fans saying, this is awesome. Well, this is gold dusting right now with a side headlock. Sent into the ropes by Curry Man off the ropes right now. Big hip toss. Gold dusting goes down. Nice arm drag from Curry Man. Curry Man's going to have to keep the pace up because Gold Dustin has the, the size and the strength advantage here. So Curry Man's really going to have to use his speed, his heat, and his spice to stay uh, one step ahead. I think Gold Dustin is a little taken aback by Curry Man. I, I, I think he might be getting out weirded. Is that possible? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I mean, it, it, his opponent walks around with a bowl of curry on his head. <laughs> you got a fair point, Mike Kingdom. I'll give you that. Okay, well, nice hip toss and an arm drag from the man now known as Gold Dustin. There's going to be plenty of surprises tonight, and and this is certainly a surprise. This is two of them, I'd say. What about the team these two would make? <laughs> now there's a thought. They'd be hot, they'd be spicy, and they'd taste great. <laughs> Well, it might happen. We've just seen them shake hands. Oh, he does. Three does. Into the ropes goes Curry Man. Down goes Dustin. Off the ropes. Over the top. Wait, what's this going to be? Just stomps on his foot. Look at this. This thing's making a mockery of Curry Man. <laughs> and uh, Curry Man gives it right back to Gold Dustin. Christopher Daniels has got to be upset that once again Curry Man has taken his match. You know? Every time Christopher Daniels gets in a situation where he can't wrestle, there's Curry Man. And poor old Andy Theo Gilden gets stumped. That's going to wreck his football career. Well, up till now, this match has been just a big game of, of one upmanship. I don't know if they're competing to win a match or to, to, to win the crowd's favor. Are you saying they're trying to curry favor? They, oh, 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 I almost fell for that. <laughs> I warn you now, Kingdom, it's going to be a long night with Dean Ayas. That one, that one hurt. That took the wind out of me. Right. All right, they'll lock up once again. Irish whip into the ropes, ducks the clothesline, and again. Oh, oh! And he took a bad spill outside. He, he certainly hit that guardrail with velocity, didn't he? Certainly did. And now, looks like Curry Man's going to go right after him. Oh, Curry Man wants gold dusting in the ring. Now, oh, drops the elbow. He's cover. Just the two count. Now, am I right in saying that Curry Man's regular tag partner is Chicken Ticket Kamala? No, no, come on. We all, we all know it's Bargy Boy. I've got a right to make bad Curry Man. I like Curry. Nice 
especially like the, you know, Chicken Chow Crazy. Power of Curry Man there in that clothesline. Well, he's hot and spicy, he kiss for it. And, and he throws a good lariat. Absolutely. This crowd is split. Oh, he's got a sleeper. And he's got the size and the, the height and weight advantage to really cinch this in and really make this sleeper hold count. Plus the experience, let's not forget that. The nice reversal by Curry Man. Oh yeah, booming back at you right there. Curry Man with his own sleeper hold. Gold Dustin reaching for the ropes, trying to break it down to his knees. He's in a lot of trouble right now, Andy Cole down getting in there. And look at the great leverage that uh, Curry Man's got in this hold now. Very smart. He had a size disadvantage. Brings Gold Dustin down to the mat. He can use his weight on top of him. Oh yeah, we're all the same size on the ground, Kingdom. Great move, <laughs> as you say. I was gonna make a flagpole joke, but <laughs> oh no, I, I won't say that. Here we go. The arm drops three times. Of course, this, get ready. This might be it. it might be. Let's go. Oh. Very, very close. close. Very close. And now, Dustin trying to get the fans behind him once again. Let's go, get back to his feet. Drives the elbow and another. And a third. With a big right hand from Curryman. Dustin fires back. And Curryman with a right hand. And look at this trading blows now. by Curry Man off the ropes, goes down for the backdrop maybe. Well there's one of Gold Dustin's signature maneuvers, dropping down, slap to the face, and a nice atomic drop there. Ooh. Here we go, who knows what's going to happen here. Oh. up in the ropes. Insane, but I think it's kind of affecting you out here, Dean. Ask what are you talking about? Over the top. Oh, wait. Pin call. There it is. 
One, two, three, forget it. I guess so. himself into this he's a young man he's still a young man he's got a new wife he's he's got a son what is he thinking See, I think of it slightly differently. I think Abyss maneuvered Carino into this. I think this is what Abyss has wanted. And it doesn't matter whether the title's on the line, and it doesn't matter whether, you know, whether Stephen Gauntley wants this to happen. It's happening. It's happening because it had to happen because Abyss wanted it to happen. And now Carino's in there, the bell is rung, and we are underway. There is no escape from barbed wire hell. did but you were going to demonstrate to the crowd I think just uh oh I did yeah we took a cut to the bar front we went around right four sides and ringside and, and anyone who wanted to feel the line wants to feel it and, and everyone can tell it was real as real can be. Well my eyes are are less than two feet away from uh, from it right now here in the corner where uh, where we're broadcasting from and it's scary to look at. I've been hit with barbed wire. I don't know where they found this stuff. This is this is like if barbed wire was a t-shirt. Oh, this is triple XL. Wait a minute, Kingdom. Ah, and it be. Look at that barbed wire for the first. Get out of the way, Matthew. Karina's got his hands up, but and thankfully. Look at him now. He's got the advantage, trying to force Abyss into the barbed wire. Like it might, but I'll tell. But look at look at Abyss. Both those eyes are open, baby. And if one of those gets caught in barbed wire, that's that's career over. That's lights out.
Well, Carino was thinking Lariat. That was face first right into the top strands of barbed wire. Oh, and listen to the hush of the crowd. This has been one of the loudest crowds I've ever heard in this building. And for a moment there, just deathly silence. You can hear it. No, no. This is. Of Carino in the barbed wire. It's, it's Mule kick. <laughs> Carino's got a like the barbed wire wrapped around his fist. Carino already felt the hand around his throat once. He knows that a man of this size is going to go for that choke slam eventually. He doesn't want to feel it. Take away that weapon from Abyss. On blood, blood is flowing freely from the right arm of the weapon of mass destruction. I tell you what, as a wrestling fan, I mean, I remember getting the tips from Japan, from the, the FMWs and, and the wings, but seeing a barbed wire match on tape was something, seeing it live is something else, and here in the UK as well. I mean, this is just sick. It Carino working over the arm. He was digging into it with his fingernails a moment ago. Yeah, he's trying to claw it open, wasn't he? Trying to rip open that flesh. This is perilously close to that wire again. Oh, over the top. Oh, fist oh, fist no. In. Abyss elevates Carino. And he goes chest first into the... Well, I was about to say ropes. It's not ropes, is it? It's there barbed no wire. Ropes, Kingdom. And now... The one PW champions down. Abyss is on his feet. And Carino checking himself. Oh, and a boot to the back of the head. This is Abyss's arm is just a state. It's horrible. And you see the blood dripping from the arm as he unloads with those right hands, but blood everywhere. Oh no, not the wrist. That's Oh my god! No, that... He's no. trying to saw his arm off! His main artery, Carino could be spurting blood in a second. I don't want to make anything cute here, but... Uh, well, this has gotten, uh, this has gotten vicious quickly, as we knew it would. I'm finding this really hard to call, guys. This is, uh... Oh! This is unique, and like you said, Kingdom, this crowd is in, like, cluster shot silence. It's awe. It's, it's honest-to-goodness awe. And again... Oh, in the barbed wire. His arm is a mess. And, no remorse, no conscience. He knew... If we have any doubt, he's proven it here with, with this horrendous. Well, both men have horrendously beaten each other down already. We're only about oh. 10 minutes in.
Trying to cut him open some more, maybe. The step is having comes to this. Drop to hold into the barbed wire. Forehead first. The part of the And Abyss is rolling out. He's taking advantage of the clearance there. Well, he's going straight out. Uh, and uh, let me warn you from previous experience, guys, we're now in trouble. Right. I know that. We're out of here. Forget it. Look at this. We've got barbed wire boards on the outside of the ring. Yeah, this well. is we need you it's, it looks like it's going to make its way inside. Oh, wait. Perino caught the top of his head. He was not expecting that. And now we've got a barbed wire board in the ring. As if there wasn't enough barbed wire out here already. I've never seen anything like this. You know, it, it's, it's very easy to say that on commentary, but it's the absolute truth this time. There's very few times that I'm speechless. And it doesn't really do me good to be speechless in this job, but I'm pretty damn close to it at the moment. I, mean, I think we're going to see a suplex. Oh! Oh, my God! The, the, the lower abdomen, should we call that kingdom? That's horrible. I was going to say the baby maker. That is uh, barbed wire right upside the mommy-daddy button. This is right. Exactly. He just he just made his way. Abyss just made his way behind our broadcast position. And let me tell you something. What what is that? I what just froze up. What is that? Oh. What is that? It's not the bottle of brush cleaner. No, he's not cleaning brushes. That stuff is highly flammable. And this... he's only got one. He's got, oh, no, he's ripping the T-shirt off of Carino. This is horrible. Well, this is going beyond salt in the wounds. Abyss is looking. I mean, is that flammable? It's a brush cleaner. It's damn flammable. Believe brush me. cleaner? Brush cleaner. Chemical brush cleaner. Yeah, white spirit. You know? this, this is going too far, guys. Uh, that is, well, that is beyond, oh, man. Oh, this is, oh, the Bob Dwight. Oh. And you can see the upper arm, the shoulder of Carino again with multiple puncture wounds. Oh, no, 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 no. no, he's no. Really set, that board, set the board on fire. Kingdom just lost his, he's putting it on his. You sick bastard. Why? Why would you do that? I've s oh. This is not what the hell. This liquid, this smell that stuff from here, and it's it gets into the wounds. I mean, oh, this is horrible. I'm actually feeling kind of ill. I really am. I'm not squeamish by any stretch, but well, you want the fans. I mean, it was going to be squeamish, and it is. Torino was just. Hell. This board, this barbed wire board right in front of us. Setting it up in the corner. Okay. Uh, wow. Steve Carino is in pain. You know, Abyss has, has reopened some of the. Well, Abyss. I don't know if you even noticed Abyss setting the boards up. He got his hair tangled in the barbar and had to pull his hair up. I mean, even when you're winning, you're losing in this match. From the Perino, the blood, that that flammable liquid. Ah, uh, boys, we are we are in danger country. But Carino's fighting back. You know they say when you're in, when you fear for your life. Wait a second, Abyss! In the pop by a board! Holy Mary, mother of God! I felt that from here. The... Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 
There's blood on the barbed wire, there's blood on the board in the ring, all up. Bissa, Bissa. It might be over right now. Just a two count. Dean. I think I'm going to stand from now on. It's safer. Yeah, right. it might be. Carino is up. That is the fighting heart of a champion. After everything. He's got the barbed wire chair. And oh, fist first. Oh. Straight into Carino's face. The plan backfired. Steel chair, barbed wire, lobotomy. And, and I mean, look at this action, guys. We said this isn't about titles. This is about this is about hatred. This is. Uh, I just can't stop staring at Abyss's right arm. It's horrible. It's pretty sick, yeah. And now with the chair, oh. Steve Carino. got ropes to run off. He's, this is one of his patented maneuvers. Oh! oh! In the groin. Right on his kingdom would say the baby maker. Oh yeah, that is the staff of power is cut up. <laughs> I guess it's a kind of a relief that there may not be any little abysses running around one day. The staff of I remember that one. Okay, Carino fighting back once again. And he might be sending Abyss up for the lariat onto that second barbed wire board. Taking a risk. Anything like this is taking a risk. It is the risk, but it's Carino. Oh, my God. And the barbs caught up in his leg and his trousers. Oh. Once again, elevated by the monster. Thrown in the barbed wire. Wow. Abyss again with the chair, the barbed wire chair. Well, we promised no rope barbed wire hell. I think we've delivered. Abyss with the chair. Oh! To the top of the head. And look at the face of Carino. Look at the face of the champion. Just walk him up. Oh. Are you kidding me? Carino. Oh, that time. Third one was too much for even him to bear. The adrenaline was flowing, but this might be it. Oh. So close, guys. Fighting spirit can only carry uh, carry you for so long. But amazingly, Carino is up. He's getting up again. And now this is just humiliation. Carino's back on his feet. He says, is that the best you can got? You're going to have to kill me. Of course, Steve Carino himself. Oh! Firing fist into Abyss's head like a madman. He is, he's like a man possessed. Abyss is down. This lost the Carino goes to the chair. Well, he took enough punishment from it. Now he figures it's time to dish some out. You know, one Pete brought us great wrestling over this past year, but it's also brought us some sick, sick fights like this. Week. on that chair, the barbed wire in the face. I, I can see he was trying to release uh -oh. he was obviously caught up in the, the shirt. He's pointing over here. Uh, we got to move.
I'm standing, guys. Up. That barbed wire board. He's, he's, he's putting the barbed wire board. Now it's table, Dean. Wait what a minute. The hell? Team Supreme. Team Supreme, they've got no business. Be oh, what the hell is oh. That's a light joke. That's a damn light joke. This has gone too far. My face with both my hands up and felt glass hit the back of my hands. I felt that all right, Kingdom. I put my up and felt something bounce off it, yeah. Oh, Carino's stuck now. in Carino's back. He said he's gonna have to kill him. The son of a. Oh! The table didn't break. This is the worst damn thing I've ever seen. I'm quoting Glock. Steve Carino's rescue, but he's caught! How the hell can you talk about that after Dean? This is completely nuts. Carino is ripped to shreds. What? What? Exactly. Well, you've got, you've got Team Supreme. You've got a miss. How could you not have Sterling James Keenan? Right, just zooms him casually into the ring. Guys, this is horrible. This, Carino's already a mess. Carino's going to hospital anyway. What the hell? What the hell's going on? SJK all over his own teammates. He's just turned against Team Supreme. What about Keenan and Abyss? He wants Abyss, Dean! He wants Abyss! What has happened between Sterling and his minions? Well, there seemed to be a little bit of tension earlier on when we saw them taking out Joe. But the Keenan didn't seem to want them as his tag partners. And I guess there's been some friction in the back since then. Well, he needs... This isn't about me. 
This isn't about Steve Carino or Abyss. In January, when the great Muna stepped in the ring with SJP, it's because of you. Right, that's the reason we're here. I've only got one thing left to say. One P fucking W. Well, there you have it, Kingdom. Wow. Old giving reform. Definitely needs. Carino definitely needs. It's good to see him on his knees, guys, but he's still hurt. Hey, it's good to see him breathing after that. Right. Pieces of glass falling from Carino's back as he awaits the opportunity to speak to his people. Not just glass, flammable liquids, the blood pouring from his face, his back, his entire body. But he's back on his feet because of all these great fans. That's adrenaline right there. He's coming back. I know it's late. I told you the fan forum Q and A that we get over early. But if you missed your train, you could all bunk with Chris Hamilton. Yeah. We're at the Regent Hotel, and his room is 29. Hold fast all these guys to get in the ring for a reason. Because this last year, no one knew what to expect. Each and every one of us has gotten emails from promoters that are going to rule the world. We got emails from guys that are going to put on this huge budget and that they never had the money. We were told that we were gonna survive. We were told a bunch of bullshit. That's the life of a professional wrestler. You get used to it, you get numb to it. But a year ago, that man over there that's trying to hide right now,
Alt Herman, who helped make this promotion, helped put it on the map in its early days, back in the Doncaster Dome, where he belongs. Well, don't expect any drop, don't hold, any wrist locks or any headlock takedowns. This one's going to be a fight, pure and simple. Oh, yeah. Well, I said he's back in the Doncaster Dome. I don't know how long he's going to last in the ring because an Alton Herman match has a tendency to spill out into the ringside area, into the crowd, up into the stands. I'll as tell as, you uh, what, as does Martin Stone's match and as does Iceman's match. The ring cannot contain them. And now there's it's not just one on one, it's one against one against one, a triple threat. Right. I tell you what, Kingdom, you, you missed that, that, that incredible match between Stone and, and Iceman, that war back at Devil's Q game. I've never seen anything quite like that. And the fight that they had at Fight Club 2 Bones is just as incredible, but are we going to see some stranger lines to Storm in this match, or is it every man for himself? That's going to be the question. Well, you've got to question the relationship, or if there even is one, between Martin Stone and Ulf Herman. Yes, I mean, Martin Stone and Ulf have something in common. They both hate the Iceman, and the feeling's mutual. But how do they relate to each other? That's the question, I think, in this one. Ulf is leaving the ring. Ulf is upset that there was a lockup going to take place. That was wrestling. Ulf Herman wants no part of wrestling in this match. Oh, wait. Ulf Herman wants death match. Hang on a minute, Kingdom. We've got a Hoover and we've got a car on this. Got a, yeah, he got a car horn. Hey, you just like this. If you want to play some gay shit, go to somebody else not with me, okay? This is one PW, and those people deserve the best. So now I'll kick your head in. Now he's going to kick their heads in, apparently. And who's going to argue with that? Ulf is taking the death part of Deathmatch very seriously. You better believe it. And he is going to, he, he's planning to clean the ring of both these guys. He's got the uh, the vacuum cleaner. Kingdom, you and I have probably both seen a lot of hardcore matches, but I've never seen a car bomb at being used to the match. Uh, I actually have, but not any time in the past 10 years. This what, is going to be good. We've never seen one in the UK at least. Oh, here we go. Look at this, Iceman and Storm with an alliance here. Which is the opposite of what I was going to see. Wait a minute, off the ropes. Nice double close line by the flaming German, Old Herman. And he goes after Martin Stone, surprisingly enough. Uh-oh, tree of woe. Stone's in the corner, kicked to the gut by Old Herman. Oh, I think we're going to get one Oh, my God. We got two tree of woes. Now I've been on the receiving end of this It's bloody painful. Oh, we got two big trees. He's got he's he's got a forest of woe going. No oh, wait, drop kick into oh. the tree. Oh, drop kick into this bin here, right in front of Down goes Stone. Iceman is he's stuck. Down goes Iceman. Tell you what, they might be claiming the moniker of Iceman after this one. Calls himself a European hardcore icon. I think Ulf's a European hardcore icon, quite frankly, Dean. And, and I hope, I hope on this occasion that Iceman's got his shoes, uh, his boots laced up pretty tightly because I'll never forget. I'll never forget what I saw in the hole when Iceman by a book was dropped onto drawing pins. Outside as well. It's on the outside, kids. Clear out of the front row! And there goes the guardrail. And here comes security. Right. It didn't take too long for the guardrail to go down in this one. Oh, yeah. I expected it might not. Oh! These 
response reaction. We've got a fight. Oh, Herman is down and attached to the ring rail. Iceman just took out Martin Stone. And wherever there's a match with Iceman and all for Martin Stone, there's always security following around with, with worried looks on their faces. Oh! So much for the fun of a front row seat. Right. Iceman just took three of them. <laughs> you pay the top price. And, uh, hey, is that any of that? Is any of that top price come with life insurance? I'm not sure they're going into the crowd right now, guys. Alf's, Alf's seen enough of the ringside area. Alf wants to go walk about. Alf in the crowd. Stone's out there, too. That guard rail is just bending hard. That guard rail's a mess. This match is getting ugly, and I don't just mean the back of Iceman's head. How much does what we can you spend on guard rail? Our cameraman is having a hard job keeping up with this. We're struggling to keep up with this one. If you just, if you just bear wow. with it. It's they are still going at it over near the concession stand. One PW merchandise tables are in jeopardy. And Ulf. Ulf's coming back. Ulf's coming back. Ulf says, do you want to see this? Fine, I'll come to you. Dragon Iceman back to the ring. Martin Stone is uh, presumably down and out for a minute. I'm not sure where Stone is, Kingdom, but oh! Oh, oh, Herman, take a seat. And I'm sure Iceman heard the comments. Sorry, Ulf Herman made the comments made by Iceman at the last 1PW show in August. He insulted. Oh! oh. Did you hear that? <laughs> uh, I mean, Martin Stone did it. It's one of the hardest chair shots I've ever seen. And he just showed how with that... Well, he's got about 1,800 chairs he can choose from right now out in the crowd. Yeah, but every one of them's occupied. <laughs> okay, old Perman now with Iceman, bringing him back to the ring, if you can believe that. Listen, I know we're all having a laugh about the balloons, but, you know, Iceman, Iceman's a smart man popping a balloon right over his head. He could burst an eardrum. You oh, lose your yeah. equal. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, no, this is dangerous. Oh, it's, no, he's got the Hoover. Oh. oh, Stevie, he's got the Hoover. Now, thankfully, I understand Iceman's got quite a large family already. <laughs> so maybe he won't be too disappointed when he wakes up in the hospital tomorrow. What's he doing? Funny. He's got the oh, Hoover. No! He's got the Hoover! Forget any more little Iceman. And Iceman is singing soprano. There will be no Iceman 2. We got Martin Stone. Martin Stone behind us. Robin the Oh found the Chavs baseball bat! We've had the Chavs baseball bat here since earlier in the show. Oh found it! We should have got rid of that, but never mind. I, I had this horrible feeling Oh was gonna find that. Oh no. Oh no. And this would happen. Oh! With a baseball bat, Oak Herman over the back of Martin Stone. It's every man for himself in this one. Oh, yeah, Oak Herman not interested in making a line to this. Where the hell did the horn come from? Germany, of course. <laughs> he just blew his horn. It's the splatter horn. Splatter horn. These guys are tough. Three of the toughest in Europe, if not the toughest, in the European death match. And now, Iceman breaks up the count. One four will do it in this one. This is just unbelievable. Uh, <laughs> 
there's a lot of... Oh, they're out in the crowd again. You know, who is the number one European hardcore wrestler? Ulf's just left the ring. They're in the crowd again. Iceman throwing Stone out into the crowd. Ulf left to follow them. Making their way up the stands. They're up there in the bleachers right now. Very dangerous situation. We've seen Steve Carino fall from there before. This is completely out of control. I think we they are, and we we knew they'd be completely out of control in this match. <laughs> and they're just about it, Ulf Herman now. Iceman fighting back. Ulf dragging Martin Stone back towards the ringside area. That's right, that is, that is Stone. out the flaming German now. Still got a car bomb in that waiting to be in. Is, is that your car bonnet? It that's might be. That's not the, yeah, there's no right oh, what the hell is Martin Stone doing? Oh, right now we've got Ulf with Martin Stone, nice Irish whip. Well, nice man's up top. What's that? What's he got? Pliers! Pliers! Up the nose! Pliers! Okay, Kingdom, what do you call that? <laughs> well, I don't know, and I don't want to be nosy, because... Uh... That's a, that's a ply plyoplex or something. Oh. I'm not sure, but... Oh, no. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! On the ear of Martin Stork! Oh, Herman is sick. Herman is sick. Man's, uh, he's he's got it oh, by the got, ice cube. He's got it by the tongue. He's got it by the tongue. Hasn't his nether regions taken enough punishment tonight? And you hear the abuse from Old Hermit. Well, no, there's uh, another guy who shows himself the innovator of violence, but right, can you never seem to move Hermit? I'd say so. Ulf's got the double underhook. Oh, with a suplex. Another wrestling move. All the way over. Iceman breaks it up. Just happened occasionally. Iceman throws Ulf Herman. Oh. A sick wet thud as Ulf Herman hits the floor on the outside. Iceman setting him up. Irish whip. Here we go off the ropes. Elbow to the throat. Iceman. Ah, oh, big set on splash. 21 and a half stone crashing down on Martin Stone. Well, we got Martin Stone down on the outside. Iceman's on the. Iceman's doing a little shopping over there. It looks like that. 
exactly right, King German, now. Iceman's got a computer keyboard. I think he might be wanting to send off Herman a little email. Maybe. We've got muffin pans, garbage cans, keyboards, floorboards, car bonnet, and a shopping trolley. Well, Iceman wasn't planning to log into the UKFF anywhere, which is just as well. Well, the pace may have slowed, but the strength behind these shots hasn't, and the anger behind them. Oh! Now with a key boss. Oh! And keys oh. fly everywhere. Oh, Herman, you have mail. <laughs> this is nuts. I, I, I'm, I'm going to hit the alt button. I'm going to hit the alt button here. Kingdom James. I think I think Ulf needs someone to hit the refresh button for him. Oh, uh, Ulf's, Ulf's a mess. Ulf's bleeding. All the little jagged edges in that keyboard, see, they've ripped them open. We got blood from off Herman's forehead. Well, let's face it, it might be stating the obvious here, but keyboards weren't intended to be smacked over your head at that kind of velocity. Uh oh! Wait a second! Man in stone! Also, might be. Well, I hope he's not planning a family. Oh! Double testicular claw! <laughs> That's, well, it's not really a choke slam, is it? No, no it, it's more like a chicken choke slam. <laughs> I, hey, hey, chicken did I just slam. say that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm hilarious. <laughs> I don't think you can say that, Kingdom. Ah, stage. Ult's going up top. Oh, wait a minute. Second turbo go. On the inside. Oh, big Huge headbutt. headbutt. Of Herman now on Martin Stone, where he to the shoulder. He's gone for a cover, but Iceman breaks it up. And just think about this. Think about this. We've got three guys in the ring. What have you got to do? How much damage have you got to inflict on both of your opponents? That's what we have to get them. Oh, wait, wait. Stone and Iceman are both. Got a baking tray, and now, oh. Got him right in the face there, did Stone. Are we going to see a, a, a con traitor tra tra out there? Oh. Oh. And Herman's eyes glaze over. He falls to the ground. And, oh, oh, he may have been eliminated. Who would have thought we would have seen Martin Stone and the Iceman giving each other high five? And, well, it didn't last very long. The yeah, the teamwork certainly didn't last very long. Into the corner, here comes the big ice man. Uh oh. He's going out. He's going for the car. He's got it. He's got Either way, it's a huge chunk of metal. That's exactly what it is, Kingdom. Yes, we're going to see a pile driver on the car for it. Iceman's got to be out. Two. Yeah, no. But Stone isn't. This is what I said. The amount of damage you've got to do to your opponent to get the victory is going to be immense. Well, you can't watch two guys at the same time. I mean, well, Stone dove across that uh, that bonnet like T.J. Hooker trying to stop a bad guy. <laughs> and now it's in the corner. T.J. Hooker. Oh, yeah. T.J. Hooker. Tony Bigley. <laughs> Here we go, all Herman now. Oh. Wow. I don't know if I don't know if my insurance is gonna cover the damage to that hood. <laughs> Through the rope, so close to the outside. Iceman with a, with a car bonnet. I think he's setting him up. Oh. I think that's exactly what he's going for. Yeah. Well, you, there's your suspicions confirmed. Here we go. Let's go move. Oh, Stevie, he went straight into that car. Oh, that's an outfall. That bonnet. Oh, my God. Oh, Martin Stone, he's going to end it. Me, Bruce, and Herman. He can't get over there in time. Oh, I, I thought he was going to squash him. <laughs> he's still mad.
right. That's why you're out here, Dean, to tell me what a moral is. <laughs> That's one of your five a day. Yeah, we don't have them in the North East. <laughs> what a great win, though. Oh, come on. I'd say I'm totally shocked. Hey, listen, you oh, wait a minute. We... I have one thing to say. This is an anniversary party because this is one piece of value. Without those people, we wouldn't be able to do this. So shut the fuck up and get the right out of here. You want to talk about a group of hard bastards? What a team they've made. Can you <laughs> imagine the tag team of her and the stone? Hey, that'd be something. It's a really fitting song for this situation, I'm sure you all know. Na 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 No Iceman fans here. Hey, I know it takes a while to go, otherwise you expect fucking heart attack. No doubt. You better shut up. Well, mutual respect between Ulf Herman and Martin Stone at least. Not shown towards Iceman though. Sweet Stevie Aaron, the twisted genius, Dean Ass, and I'd like to welcome back to 1PW once again, Kingdom James here at ringside for what should be a hell of a match. Holy God, Dombrowski, what happened to your face? No, no, I'm not Dombrowski. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Kingdom. Okay, this is a, a triple threat match, but it's a lot of match. What, what's this? What have we got here? Oh, we we got a sweet, squeaky die. Tag team championships. For the first time, Jody and Jody have their gun without those belts as they're suspended above the ceiling. It's a great point. Is, is Tracy going to be able to get up there? What? I think this... Oh, Neely, he was close. That may be the highest that Tracy Smothers has ever been off the ground. That close. I'll tell you, I've, uh, I've not seen Tracy Smothers in the ladder match before, but I'm sure he's been in one. I mean, Tracy Smothers has been in, in every match, every kind of wrestling match imaginable. I mean, there's, there's a video knocked around YouTube of him against a bear without a muzzle, for God's sake. I love that match. And also, Tracy Smothers, no stranger to Tag Team Gold, of course. We remember him being a WCW Tag Team Champion. Listen, all, all I've got to say for Team Shag and for the Tag Team Champion is you do not take Tracy Smothers lightly. He will kill your brother and do your mother, man. He is Tracy <laughs> Smothers. Right. 
old man now. You know, he should be putting his feet up, piping slippers and reading the paper at his age. Are you talking about Tracy Smothers? The Tracy Smothers who's in the ring? I'm going to tell him you said that. And he will unleash Mega Mass Ultra Homicide on you. He'll forget by the time he finds you know, His memory's not what he used to be. Wow. You know, you're, you're as brave as you are ugly. <laughs> See, Dean, I'm the handsome guy. Has Kingdom finished that cake off in the interval? Oh, I get it. You're making a fat joke. I think those were. I think that high pitch noise was slags. <laughs> I think so. Southern Comfort have, of course, uh, wrestled Team Shag before here in One BW. And it's going to happen again. Well, they've been in there with both these teams. Right. Here we go, they'll lock up in the center. There is one redeeming feature about Tracy Smothers, I'll give you Kingdom, and that's the swim. <laughs> hey, listen, don't get him started. He'll take that shirt off and the divorce rate will go up. It might go up right now, hit. Talk to me about divorces, Kingdom. <laughs> well, Tracy Smothers. I wonder if we could get a, uh, a dance contest, the white boy dance contest on ladders. Uh, it could happen. I, I expect that to happen, actually, Kingdom. What? Swim on top of the ladder. Oh. See already. Tracy said he's got a plan. Oh, he's got a plan. He's got a plan. If Tracy's got a plan, then the pucker one's in trouble. Why not? Beautiful fireman's carry. Textbook wrestling from Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers. Tracy Smothers. Well, you know, at one point I thought Darren Burridge was the most popular wrestler in what we do you, but he's teasing the shirt. If it gets to the nipples, we're in trouble. I'm teasing the shirt. If we get to the nipples, everybody's in trouble. There you go. <laughs> hey, that's what I said. Is everybody having a great time tonight? There must be an oh, echo in here. One PW, huh? Happy anniversary, baby. Got you on my mind. Listen, what the hell is he singing? And the current man ended up on the comedy, man. Iceman, Oath, and Martin. And it all are hardcore. And Pac and AJ stole every one of my moves, and I want to appreciate that. <laughs> Absolutely! Oh, yeah. It's all about the Smothers Clack. They told me we in a ladder match. I don't see no ladders. I saw y'all coming out with one. Last time I was in a ladder match was with Chris Candido 12 years ago. Wow. Wow. The late, great Chris Candido. You see the t-shirt? I see the t-shirt. And I know that he's up there watching, because I used to do ladder matches with him for about six months, and he beat me half to death. So, I don't know if he's really approved of this or not, but I want to try this here, because I think that we might can take you in this. What I want to do right here at 1PW at the anniversary show in Doncaster for all the Doncaster donkeys. <laughs> Man, these people and cheer everything. Yeah, they do. So the company, Chris Hammer's going to dance this time. We challenge Team Shack and the 1PW Tag Team Champions of the World. Johnny Storm and Jody Clash 2A dance off. Oh, it's for the dance off, Steve. You don't understand. It's a dance off to the So we're going to see a swim, right? If you don't chant dance off or one PW straight up, everybody dies. Oh, yeah. I want to live. No, I want a dance off. 
I'm gonna dance off anyway. We're all going as one and we'll kind of go from there. You know what I'm saying? And I got new music, man. Some Mastro. You got something to say? Hit the oh, oh. Listen, Tracy, you're the king. You everybody knows when it comes to dance off, it's Tracy Smothers, right? Right. It is indeed. I'll tell you what. You tell them when to hit the cue. Why don't you read the class and we'll follow behind? How about that, huh? Well, that makes a change. It is the anniversary show, sure, you know. Huh? Henry, I'll give you five dollars if you dance with us. I dare you. Henry, five dollars. Henry, please have a dance. That's nice. Come on. He's not about dancing. Tracy's the dancer of the team. Well, there's not much Chris Hammer won't do for five bucks. Here we go. What is going on? What is this? It's this, this, but they don't feel like dancing. Oh, Kingdom, I can feel a swim coming on. It's certainly been a surreal evening, Kingdom. Witness the glory of the six-man dance party. Who do you think's winning, Kingdom? Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the white boy dance party to end all white boy dance parties. It smothers my country mile. But we won the swim kingdom. I'm just, I'm enthusiastic that Chris Hammock is participating. That's true. Hammock actually dancing. He's kind of like the guy that gets dragged on the dance floor. Oh, I think it's coming. Oh, I think it's coming. He's doing the swim. He's doing the swim. Everybody. He's doing the <laughs> swim. <laughs> Apparently, Hamrick draws the line in the swim. Right. Oh, look at this. Tracy Smooth is putting everybody off. And believe it or not, this is a triple threat ladder match. He just had a little bit of dance off action beforehand. Wait a second, keep your eye on Tracy Smothers. Smothers is on fire, baby. He's dancing all over Colt Cabana's head. <laughs> but the puckle one's firing up. Here comes Darren Burridge over the top. The dice are flying everywhere. Storm is in the ring. Yeah, keep your eyes on Storm. He, he's the high flyer. If there ever was one, over the top. Now what about Hamrick? Hamrick's in the ring. But these fans are chanting for Jordy. Oh, Jordy's not going to be left out of this, is he? Definitely not. Oh, shooting star press up the top. Amazing action. Now Chris Hamrick, they don't call him high flying for nothing. Well, it was a gallant Wait a minute. Effort. What's he doing? Um, He's going under the ring for something. For a ladies and gentlemen, Chris Hamrick is the smartest man alive. Five men down. Chris Hamrick's got a ladder. But is he going to get both of the belts? Well, here's the thing. I mean, Ooh, what the hell? It's not magic. It's magic. The number one contenders, damnation, come to the ring. Damnation. The number one contenders to the to the one PW World Tag Titles. They don't want to wait. Right, well, following this match, they will be the number one contenders. But Tracy Smothers takes out Gabriel Gray, takes out Dragon Isu. Hamrick is gone. Hamrick. Magic dragged Hamrick to the back. Dragon Isu on the run. Smothers going to find his partner. Well, Tracy's going after them. I mean, this is a mistake. Tracy Smothers. What happened to Hamrick? What happened to Southern Comfort? They're gone. 
Well, after the, the singles match that they had at Fight Club 3 earlier today, I guess there's still some issues between Magic and Henry. I think the issues are between Southern Comfort and Damnation and a nice hurt Karana there. Super rewind at a, at a Johnny Storm. Burridge is in the ring. Now, what is Storm doing? Why isn't he going after his own tag belt here? He set up the ladder in the corner. Right. You see Burridge puts on the brakes. Nice reversal into the corner by Johnny Storm. Oh! That's just painful. Right in the orchestras. Talk right about talk about backfires. Right. I'm in the center of the ring. Well, I guess Johnny won't be doing any DIY for a while. Buckle I, one setting up the ladder. I can't believe you, you said. What, you see what I did there, yes. Steve? Oh, mistake. Wait a minute, keep your eyes on Johnny Flash. He threw over the ladder. Using the ladder as a catapult to catapult himself over. We're down to four men in this match thanks to Damnation's interference. Now Paul with the ladder. Looks like he's going to use it as a weapon, Kingdom. Well, Cabana Smart, he knows he's got to damage both of these men so that they can't fight. Oh! Put huge, put in the corner. huge bee sting and into the ladder. He knows he's got to get both tag team champions down. Oh, and a so, super kick from Johnny Storm. So that they can't stop him going after those belts. Smothers is back, but where's Hamrick? Tracy's back, but where's Hamrick? Well, I'm... Tracy gets both belts. I mean, Southern Comfort win this, right? Old man Smothers had to go back for his medication. I, well, I heard that. Ah, there you go. I told you you'd yeah. get caught out sooner or later, Dean. The ring has ears, Dean. Oh! oh that's a sight I don't want to see. Oh! Full moon over Doncaster tonight! <laughs> I, I've gone blind, I can't see anything. What's happening? Well, Smothers apparently didn't want his uh, his southern assets shown to the... Oh! Team Shock using that ladder. Round and round they go. Oh, Burridge just hit his own partner. Three Stooges psychology takes out everybody in the ring. Let's see what Tracy's got in mind. No one told me Smothers hearing was that good. Cheap, very cheap tonight, That Dean. plan didn't work. Now he's trying to protect himself with the ladder. Oh, this doesn't look good, does it? it doesn't look good at all, no. Oh. He's done with a drop kick into the ladder, into Tracy Smothers, and now Darren Burridge charges. Big high cross body, and that hurts him just as much as it hurts Tracy. And now, keep your eye. Oh, Johnny Flash with us. The handspring elbow there. And now finally called Cabana. Smothers, is, Smothers had enough of the ladder. Right. It's Colt's problem now. Had he stayed there, oh. it would have been all over for Tracy Smothers. But now, Colt Cabana using that ladder. Keep your eye on Johnny Storm. He's quick, did he, T? Wheelbarrow reversed into the DDT. Now Fleiss setting up a ladder. I don't think he's going for the belt, no. Though. He could get the belt from that kingdom. Look at Johnny using his partner as a weapon. Base, baseball slide. No. Oh! That was just a balloon. Judy realized what that was. He just kind of reacted. And that's a balloon fight for Johnny Storm to get Smothers up for a slam. We've got a balloon fight on the outside. Uh, we've had Mad Man Manson, we've had Curry Man beat Gold Dustin. Balloon fights are nothing now. I saw a balloon fight at a strip club once. <laughs> we have to carry this one on the bar, I think, Kingdom. 
All I'm saying is that uh, afterwards, both strippers had to get a lot of replacement parts. Was, was this in Doncaster? Well, certainly not. Oh, well, that's a shame. I've been to the Purple Door. I wish they'd have left it locked. <laughs> I'm joking. I You're love it. He's up top. I'm not. I hate it. <laughs> hey, buddy. Any strip club is better than none. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Classic Cabana with a moonsault up the ladder. Like an old surfer song, man. Wipeout. Mothers and birds on the outside. Cabana's the only one standing, and he's going for a ladder. Called Smart. Called. Well, I figured he was going to go for one of these title belts, but well, he's looking at the uh, at the trophy, so to speak. Going up. He had his hand on it. Flight stops him. That was a punch to the throat. Gotta get it down from that wire. Touch it. Oh. Oh. You fucked so. up! Jody was so. caught off guard you by Colt Cabana and now he's suplexed into the, into the ladder! Oh! It's vicious! And that's what uh, Cabana's intentions were. <laughs> the battle of the Essex boys over there with Burridge and Storm. I don't think. I don't think Burge knows. There's a little sign there that says this is not a step. Yeah. <laughs> He's doing the fantastic four on top of the ladder. I never thought I'd see that. Not even in this one. Oh, no. I, this is I, I don't know. He's setting the fucker one up for something. With this, this looks horrible. Oh, oh. He just hot shotted him on the top of the ladder. And let's face it, there's not exactly any gear. Colt's got ladder. the belt. Colt had the belt moments ago. Yeah, but Storm has pulled. But Fleisch and Burridge and Smothers are all out and Hamrick's missing in, in action. Here we go. Oh, it's tough. Oh! But Storm could keep his balance. The problem isn't just grabbing the belt, it's unhooking it and getting it down. At the title here, he could, he could grab that belt easily. The title's it? touching him. Is he in the match? No. <laughs> Sacrificing a chance to, to regain his own titles for a shot at damaging Colt Cabana. Is Johnny Storm? Has, has that, you know, is that going to be a mistake? I mean, the stamina. Get sapped from this match. I saw this man go eight five minute rounds not long ago down on Worthing. He's had lots of long matches. That might be a major regret, but right now his partner's up there. Oh my god! I think he. Oh. Jordy hurt. That leg is just hanging limp. Jordy's hurt. Burns shoving the ladder and just sickening. Jody oh. falling into it. Oh, nothing pretty about that. Now Burge tasting ladder himself. It comes Colt Cabana with a big right hand. No disqualification in this one. Very different from the match we've seen at Invincible between these two teams. And let's not forget, Southern, Southern Comfort's still in this one. Well, Tracy Smothers is here. I don't know what damnation has... Oh! Look at that! Tornado DDT off the top, onto the ladder. But look at Jody! Jody's squashed! Jody's stuck in that ladder, basically. Burridge has hurt his leg. This is scaring me as much as the uh, as the European death match. Still got a Bob Ryan match to come. Wow. Now, now I'm scared about that, but that's another story right uh -oh. now. I think Storm is getting serious about getting those belts. Well, you've got to eliminate anyone for the moment that you need to climb the ladder. They've eliminated Tim Shag, but Tracy Smothers is climbing slowly. Keep your eyes on the current 1PW Tag Champions. They're going to fly to the outside. We've got a ladder up in the ring. 
but nobody's there to reclaim the prize. Four man carnage on the outside. Tracy Smothers is still on the outside as well, trying to collect himself. Now, boys, what the hell is going to happen if Tracy Smothers, there, he's getting up. If Tracy Smothers gets into the ring and grabs a belt, what if Chris Hamrick never makes it back out here? What if Darren Burridge grabs the other one? What if Johnny Storm does? Is it now the tag team champions of Storm and Smothers? I think so. That's why we've got Andy Quill down at ringside. Theo Gordon, what the room burn It's Andy Quill, Dan. Call him Theo. Tracy trying to get the fans behind him. Hamrick's back! Finally. Got rid of damnation. Who knows where those guys are, those sickos. This could, could be Hamrick's last match here in 1PW if the rumours are true. Well, they're going for the same belt. They're going for the same belt. This might be a mistake. He's here from the current champions. And down goes Southern Comfort. And Boris, I'm sorry, Cabana is beginning to slowly climb up to his knees. Well, I don't know what damnation did to Hamrick, but he looks to be in a lot of pain. Tracy on the ring apron as well. He's holding his, his rib to his side by the looks of things. Oh, where they come, Team Shag, putting off the current champions. And I think we're going to see double power bombs coming up on the Carole. Sit out power bombs. Team Shag is alone in the ring. It's a prime opportunity to grab the belts and win the match. It's going to happen, guys. They're up there. Burridge can't quite get the belt. He's well, it's got. We've got it. Yes, it's over. We've got new 1PW World Tag Team Champions Kingdom. Classic Cole Cabana and Darren Burns, the Puckle One. Team Shag is on top of the world. says there were eight of them and they had guns. I believe them. And knives. That's the only reason Southern Comfort aren't your tag champs now. Hamrick looks to be in a lot of... Whatever damn race you did to him, it was pretty bad. Definitely worse for wear. I'm amazed. Looking at him right now, I'm amazed that he was able to get back out here. I feel sorry for damn nation. But right now, we have new tag team champs, guys. Team Shag in the crowd celebrating new 1PW World Tag Team Champions. The red.
This one's underway. We got three on two, guys. What's going on here? What? Oh, yeah, as I said, the kingdom. Once again, the numbers advantage with Keenan and his disciples. Well, Joe. what happened to Joe? Joe. Joe. Where's some more Joe. Joe? What's the situation? Joe. No. Joe. 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 Yeah, but we're talking about some more Joe here. Come on. No explanation as to Samoa Joe's whereabouts. Nice from Dark Side. The music! Somebody in the locker room! What's the most serious in the ring? Of course he is! He's Samoa Joe! He's a Samoa submission machine! He's the toughest man on the planet! It's not because. A little Samoan shoe leather. Looks a close line from Dave Morales. Nice power slam out of nowhere from Joe. And from behind, SJK. All over Samoan Joe. No fear. No fear from Sterling James Keenan. He's taking it to the Samoan submission machine. In the corner right now. Listen to this. Well, the odds are even once again. Three on three. But surely, someone like Samoa Joe counts twice. Keep your eyes on Joe and Sport. Look, you're wigging as a team. Nice drop kick. SJK and all. And now we got a six man. And listen to these fans. Samoa Joe going to work, taking Keenan and his boys apart. Chop stands down the Jack Jackstorm. This is insane. He's got nowhere to go. Irish ribbon in the corner near us. A ringside. Just casually walks out the way. Spud is in the ring, the little wrestler who could. Taking it to Jack Storm. I'll never forget that balcony dive and invincible back in August. 
over the last year. One PW fans have seen Spud put his life on the line again and again to entertain them. And, and just to just stay alive. Is that why he's done that kingdom? Because he's stupid. It's that oh, it's not stupidity at all. It's Butch Dean House. He's a cover just a two count. And here we go. This has been a feud lit up on the very first 1PW show. Right. Sterling James Keenan has a thorn in his paw about Spud and just will not let the issue die. He won't let it lie until there is no more Spud in the Spambuster slam from SJK into the cover, but in comes Samoa Joe, just kicks him right in the face. Listen to the crowd. What a tag team partner he's got in Joe. Comes dark side, breaks up the count. Makes a cut to his leader, SJK. Well, yeah, they were bragging about the fact that they put some more jaw on the shelf, but who the hell's going to put some more jaw on the shelf? Nobody. I'm sure Kingdom would agree with that as well. Over the top, DDT. I'll tell you what I'll agree with is that Spud has a definite speed advantage over everybody in the ring and he's using it. Oh yeah, but Keenan's got a brain advantage over everyone. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Joe, keep your eyes on Joe right now. Pick up the floor side. Sends over Team Supreme to the floor. Oh no. I think Spud's gonna fly. I think he is too. And I think Joe's gonna fly. Oh! Double top here. Air Samoa and Air Spud taking off and landing on Team Supreme. Dark Side's feeling froggy. I think he wants to jump. Oh, but he's. Oh my God! The sickening snap! One, two, this is gonna do it, guys. Just a two count. Keenan 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 on the outside. Caving in Dark Side's ribs and now knees. The battle going on the outside, but Keenan's on the inside. Yeah, where it counts in the ring. Look at that. Beautiful suplex. He's hooked him. Oh! Just a two count. And Daxard came so close, I feel, to defeating SJK in that impromptu match, Dean Ayas. Dark side has Keenan Plant, he's on the top. No water in the pool. Keenan sizing him up. He's got him scouted. He's got him up. Here go. That is the end. It's over. No one kicks out of the MK Ultra.
what he's doing. Not, it's just it's right. What are you okay? Joe's gone. Fuck! Oh! Stalin does it to me again. <laughs> now I don't have a partner. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Fuck my bed. If you're looking for a partner, don't have to look any further, mate. I'd be willing to help you. No problems at all. Darcy, I don't think you understand this. Get this way. This has been happening for a year. Yeah. One year, Sterling has been in my face. He's been attacking me. He's got his boys team supreme to attack me. Even Abyss is attacking me. And you know what? It's driving me insane! Understand. And now Joe's gone. Listen to me. Now Joe's gone. And with all due respect, you're my friend, and I appreciate the offer. But Joe was my dream partner, okay? Joe. So you don't think I'm up to the job? Is that what you're saying to me? Look, I don't want to fly with you. I never said that, okay? I never said that. Okay, well, I'll look at it this way. Three scumbags are want to tear you apart tonight. I'd say it'd be better three on two than three on one. Do you not agree? Ah! <laughs>